This video provides instruction on how to keep the clock and scoreboard for a Central Loudoun Basketball League game. It is important for you to realize that while working the book or the clock, you are an official of the game, just like the referees on the floor. While we are not so militant that you can't clap for a nice play or say, nice shot, Johnny, you should not be shouting instructions to players or coaching from the table. And you should absolutely not be making any kind of remark to the referees about their calls. Remember, you are an official of the game and should act impartially in that position. To start the game, let's reset the scoreboard. To set the clock to six minutes, for instance, you would push clock set, zero, six, enter. Now we need to set the scores to zero. So you would push home score, zero, enter, and visitor score, zero, enter. Lastly, set the scoreboard to the first quarter by hitting period or quarter, one, enter. To run the clock, simply flip this switch up to run the clock and down to stop the clock. You start the clock whenever the referee drops his arm after a dead ball situation and stop it on any whistle. So as the game proceeds, you would simply start time, then stop time. Start, stop. Now, to keep score, you simply add points as they are made. Let's say the home team scores two points. You would hit home score plus two. If the visiting team hits a three-pointer, you would hit visitor score plus three. If the home team shoots a free throw, that would be home score plus one. Simply continue this throughout the game, periodically checking with your partner working the book to make sure the scoreboard and the book match. At the end of a quarter, the buzzer will sound. When that happens, please switch the clock switch down so you don't have to listen to that buzzer for a full three seconds. It will need to be in the stop position to reset the time anyway. So at the end of a quarter, simply press period or quarter plus one. Then reset the clock, in this case to six minutes, by hitting clock set zero, six, enter. Lastly, if, and this is only if the referee asks you to keep the possessions, you would simply push the possession button such that the red arrow on the scoreboard points to whichever team gets the next jump ball. Most refs just keep possessions themselves and do not ask you to keep it, but you know how to if requested. And that's it. Keeping the clock is not difficult, but it is important to be done right. Just don't get distracted and forget to start or stop the clock or to document the points and you'll be fine. Please remember that you are an official of the game, so act accordingly. Thank you for volunteering to support COBL and have a great season.